Right, should be working. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Please let me know uh, in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. Uh, as has been the problem all week, the chat is not working on my screen. So just bear with us a minute. I need to press a couple of little buttons and hopefully this will get it working. But yes, if you can hear me and see me okay, uh, let me know. And tonight I'm going to be doing a tutorial and playthrough. Yes, the chat comes up. Tutorial and playthrough of Gates of Mara. We're going to be playing over Tabletop Simulator. Uh, the plan tonight is that Nick and Gemma, two friends of mine who live locally, they were going to come round and we were going to be playing a three-player game of this using the physical game. Unfortunately, that is not possible due to the coronavirus uh, situation in the UK. So we're playing over Tabletop Simulator instead. But before we start, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you the physical game. So I've got the physical game set up here. Um, I've got my overhead camera on, which gives you an idea of what this game is going to look like physically. Um, each player is going to have one of these player boards and what you can't see because it's an overhead camera is these actual, so I'm going to, I'm going to hold these. These are nice big chunky player pieces. So each player has a player board like this with the seven characters on uh, and they are slightly asymmetric. So each player uh, has their own figures. They'll all be the same size and shape, but the artwork on each of them and the colours are slightly different. Uh, that needs to go in there. You will have the... Um, the realms set out like this. This is actually set up for a four player game because you always use the chaos realm, which is this one, slightly off camera, but this is the gray one. And then you will use uh, another, uh, you will use a number of realms equal to uh, the number of players in the game. So in a four player game, you will use five realms in total. We're playing a three player game tonight. So we're only, only we're gonna be using four realms. Then you have the wanderer, you have these big chunky figures right now. You can see the size of these. This is my hand. <laughs> this is the size of these figures. These are big and chunky. So you have the Wanderer and you have four Elemental Lords. You will only play with two Elemental Lords. You will pick two at random, or if you want to choose them, it's up to you. Uh, and they will move around between the realms. Uh, you've got these very nice looking gems, which you will get. You will be collecting these gems and then spending them to do other stuff. And there's a whole extra full, there's, a, there's, there's more stuff. Okay, there's more stuff in the box. There's a big bag full of victory point counters, which you will be gaining during the game at the end. These are all of the other uh, figures for the other characters. Uh, each player has a whole bag of bits. Uh, there's some keys and there's there's some extra stuff as well. There's another board which is slightly off. Well, it's just on camera here, but this is the enchantment board. And this is where the objectives are. This is where you track the round. There's the wanderer and there's a big deck of enchantment cards. Okay, and these will get laid out uh, over here each round. And these are the enchantments that you can buy. So there you go. This is just a quick look at the physical board game and what it is like before we jump into Tabletop Simulator. So let me switch over to this. We're back to Tabletop Simulator. Hopefully the chat comes back on screen. <laughs> Please tell me I don't have to refresh it again. It looks like I might have to refresh it again. Oh, no, there we go. The chat is working. So yes, we're playing over Tabletop Simulator. This is a mod which is actually available online. You can play this again. Uh, I've already done a how to play video for the game, uh, which I would recommend you watching. It's about 20 minutes long. Uh, and obviously tonight's playthrough is going to cement the how to play video because some people learn better uh, by watching a playthrough. But this this mod is available. If it's on the it's on the Tabletop Simulator Workshop. If you want to go on there, you can download it. WizKids have put it up there for everybody to play. It is the full game. Uh, and the game itself is going to be out soon. I got told it will be out sometime around first, second week in December. Um, so yeah, should be out soon. WizKids are in the chat. They will know uh, more about... Uh, exactly when it is going to be out or not and the chat has just disappeared <laughs> right there is problems with the chat at the moment as I mentioned um, now I'm not going to be able to see much of the chat during the game itself in fact because I'm going to be playing on tabletop simulator uh, yeah I don't have my iPad handy hopefully Vicky's watching this downstairs oh no I don't have my iPad handy I will get the chat working on the iPad because I'm going to be playing on tabletop simulator so that means my uh, tabletop Simulator is going to be full screen, so I just need to get this up so that I can see the chat. Right, okay. So let's jump in. What we're going to do tonight is I am going to give you uh, an overview of the game first. I'm not going to tell you all of the rules up front. I'm just going to give you a basic idea of how things work. Uh, the two people that I'm playing with tonight, uh, Tony and Stevie, they've both read the rules, so they know how to play. And then what's going to happen is I will be teaching you the rules as we go. So as we start making moves in the game, uh, I will be teaching you then. Right, so this is a game which is played over four rounds. The rounds are tracked here on the enchantment board. 
and then we're going to count up the points at the end of the game and see who's won. There is a lot of end game scoring in this game, but you will also be able to score points during the game as well. In each of the four rounds, um, the setup has already been done for us. As I mentioned, we're using three realm boards. These were chosen at random. If you look carefully, these realm boards have got a three plus in the bottom right. This is the three player side or the four player side. If you were playing two player, these boards would be on the other side. Um, we've dealt some banners out here. We've dealt two objectives here. This has all been done by the scripting. So this has all been done randomly uh, for us at the start of the game. We've each chosen uh, which player we want to, uh, which sort of faction we want to play. I'm playing the insects tonight. Um, and what's going to happen is in turn order, which was randomly determined. So it's going to be uh, purple, which is the dragon kin, followed by the goblins, followed by the insects. We're going to play in turn order. Uh, and on our turns, we are going to place one of our figures onto the board. Now, placing a figure will cost a certain amount of energy. We have 11 energy. We keep playing until we run out of energy or we can pass earlier if we want to. And then you will take a figure and you will put it onto the board in one of the available spaces. The leaders and the champions can go on these gates and we'll explain that when it happens. And the, uh, the enchanters, which is a special type of piece, the enchanters can go on this board and they are the only piece that can go on this board and they can only go on this board. Okay, so this board is reserved for the enchanters. But basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting figures on this board, uh, on these realms. That's gonna generate us influence within those realms, which is represented by these tokens here, which we will move up along here. Uh, but we're also gonna be able to trigger uh, various abilities as well. Some of the figures themselves have innate abilities uh, themselves. Uh, if they've got any banners or enchantments, you can activate those. The space where they go to. So if you were to go to this space, you would be able to activate this ability here. And the elemental lords. So there is the wanderer. If you go to the realm with the wanderer, you can activate the wanderer. And then we, uh, in this game, it's chosen for us that the air lord and the earth lord are the elemental lords that we're playing with. They have abilities as well. So you've got a whole host of abilities that you can trigger once you've placed a figure. And we keep taking it in turns. Once we've all passed, we do the end of the round. And at that point, we look at the influence in each realm. Whoever has the most influence in the realm will place two claims. Whoever's got the second most will place one claim. Then the influence resets back to zero. So what you're trying to do over the course of the round is you're trying to build up influence in the realm. At the end of the round, that influence will convert into claims. And at the end of the game, we then look at all of the claims on all the four realms and that's going to be worth a lot of end game points. So that's ultimately what you're trying to do, but that's only one way to get points. There is lots of other ways to get points as well. Right, I'm now going to head on over to Discord and I'm going to say hello to my two opponents this evening. First of all, Shivi. Good evening, sir. Ah, hello. How are Greetings you? from Finland. Uh, uh, good, good. Nice mellow night tonight. Snowed quite a lot. It's very pretty outside. Two hours ahead, I believe, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Still today. Still, it's still today. Yes, it is. So yes, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, and Tony's joining us as well. Good evening, Paul. Now, is it snowing where you are? It was snowing earlier, South Yorkshire, but uh, right. it's stopped now. It's just raining, okay. I think. Um, but yeah, you're, you're up in Yorkshire, aren't you? Uh, South Yorkshire. South Yorkshire. Yep. Right, okay. You two have both read the rules, but you've not actually played the game, is that right? Correct. Right, excellent. So I have a couple of times, uh, we, we will see how well I do. Now, we, we've randomly determined player order uh, and it is the dragon kin that is going first. So Hello. Stevie, you've had 20 minutes to examine the board situation. <laughs> Let I'll us know what to you're gonna do. 20 to plan my first turn. Yeah. Um, we're gonna spend a bunch of energy on the first go. Okay. Uh, put the champion out. Um, he generates two handshakes. So while you're, while you're doing that, I'm just going to show uh, the people at home this player board. So everybody's got a very, very similar player board. The only difference is the specialist. Okay, the specialist is a unique power uh, for that particular character. All of the rest of them are the same. And the first thing is the energy cost. So if you were to play a merchant or a specialist, it costs one energy. Leaders cost three, champions cost two, enchanters cost two. Stevie chose to play the champion, which cost two energy. The energy is tracked here. So he should actually be down to nine. Yep. Um, and then... Well, I've, spent, I've spent one extra to use the ability here on the space that I've chosen, oh, okay. which generates me some extra so resources. So we'll come to that in a minute. So it's two energy first for placing the champion, mm -hmm. which, is, which is what this is here. 
Now, the, the, the shape of the base is important. The champion has a square base. So if we go to the main board here, everywhere that you see a square, you can place the champion. And if you look at the realms, the icon for the realm is a, it's a triangle over a square over a circle. That means you can go onto one of these spaces with anything that has a base of a triangle, a square or a circle. But the squares can also go on these gates here. They cannot go in the central gate, Central gate is purely for the leader, but they can go on the standard gate. So where did you put your figure? You put it here. Yeah, put them in the okay. center. Right. So now, the first thing that happens when you place a figure in a realm is you get influence in the realm. And the champion generates two influence, which is why... Uh, oh, that's me. You've given oh, me two influence. That's the wrong token. <laughs> I don't mind. Here we are. So straight away, just for placing the figure in the realm, that's the two influence. Right. The next thing that happens is you can activate as many abilities as you want. And you've already activated this ability, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, so, this... so I paid one extra energy to get three water crystals. Yeah. Gonna pay yet another to put one of my caravans out. And I'm gonna pick the space that gives me even more water. Okay, so yeah, so this ability here is spend one energy to gain either three water or two air. And these are these element gems. So everybody starts with one of each element gem. Uh, and then Stevie just got another three water. That was one ability. The next ability that he chose to do was the ability of the champion itself. And the ability of the champion is, if you spend another energy, so you're now down to seven, you can place a caravan in that realm. Each player has five caravans. There are four spaces in each realm. And whenever you place a caravan in a realm, you get what's printed on there, which in this case is two water. And finally, and then, finally, this is I the realm of the Air Lord. The air Lord, yes, which was another free uh, resource, uh, and I've taken yeah. a, an, an Air Gem. So all of the Elemental Lords work in a different way, and what the Air Lord does is whenever you place a figure in the realm with the Air Lord, you get any one element of your choice. So what have you taken for that one? I've taken this, uh, this Air Gem here. Another Air, right, okay. And I think I that's your go-do. I believe I've all of the stuff. Yep. Yeah, so you've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> now, these gems are going to be worth some points at the end of the game, uh, but the primary reason for these element gems is to spend them on other stuff that will get you better things. So your turn is over. I believe it is now the goblins. Yes, so right, I'm going to use goblins. my champion as well. Right, okay. It's coming over to here. I'm just going to set some camera angles. So where's this champion going to go? So the champion is going here. Right here, yep. And so that's cost me two. Cost you two energy, two. and that gets you two influence in that realm just for placing it. Puts me onto two. Um, I can then spend another influence, and I can place a caravan. Yep, you can use the champion's ability to place a caravan. Where do you want to um, place it? Which I think I will grab two, two earth gems. Two earth gems, yep. Those and I can also spend another energy. You to could grab spend that another banner. energy to take this banner if you wanted to. I'll do that because I think right. that looks good. So I will explain banners. Okay, so banners. Once you take a banner, you can attach it to any of your characters. You could attach it to the character that you've just placed, or you could attach it to any other one. There are limits to how many banners each character can have. And you can see that on the chart here. So you can see that uh, a merchant can only have two banners. Specialists can only have one. Leaders can only have one. Champions can have two. Enchanters cannot have any banners whatsoever, okay? Um, now, you get to use the banner. You get to activate it whenever you place that figure. But if you place the banner on a figure that you've just placed, you don't get to activate the banner, okay? So it's usually best to put the banner on something that you haven't yet placed this turn so that you then place it and then you get the ability. Uh, Paul's chart has broken, apparently. Right, okay, thank you for letting me know. Yeah, it does look like it's frozen. So I'm just going to... I'll just refresh it once more. If it keeps breaking, I will, I will turn it off. Um, yeah, let, let me know, because I'm looking at the chat on my iPad, so I can't see the actual chat that's on screen. Um, right, and then you've got the ability of the Earth Lord. Yes, so it gives me an extra 
influence yeah, of so the caravan. Earth Lord is an interesting one because it doesn't actually give you anything itself, but what it does is it says whenever you place a caravan in the Earth Lord's realm, uh, you will get an extra influence. So you've now got to three influence. Right. Uh, yes, yeah, so I spent quite a bit of energy on that goal. You did. You've but... both spent a lot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> so. I, yeah, I mean, I guess you're trying to balance. You want to use as many characters as you can. Yeah. With it, and you've got. But yeah, that's yeah. my turn. Done. Now, before I take my turn, I just want to say that um, at the start of the game, two objectives were dealt out. These objectives are the objectives for this round of the game, and at the end of this round, those objectives are going to be. Uh, we're we're all going to be evaluated against those objectives. Now, the other two players uh, have looked at these objectives. Uh, so we didn't just jump in and start playing because that would be unfair. But you can see here, have an attachment on each of your merchants and specialists. Quite hard to do in round one. Uh, and the other one is to place a claim in three or more different realms this round, which is still quite hard to do, but it is possible. Right. So what I'm going to do is let me have a think. Let me have a think. I don't just want to follow suit and play my champion as well. although. <laughs> Although that does seem quite a uh... yeah, do we want to do that? I think maybe I will. Right. Okay. So I am going to follow suit. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to spend two energy, and I'm going to place my champion. Um. Now the question is, do I want to put it on a gate? Um, no, I don't think I do. I think I want to put it here. Yeah, so I'm going to put it there. I am going to use the champion's ability, which is to spend one energy to put a caravan on the board. Uh, and I'm going to put the caravan here. So I get, I get two influence for placing the champion. I get one influence for placing this caravan here. And then I get an extra influence because I've placed a caravan in the realm with the Earth Lord. Right, okay. Apparently the chat has crashed now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the chat from there, and we've got Tabletop Simulator full screen. There you go, right. Um, so, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. Now I'm also going to spend another energy to activate this ability here. I either get three Earth or two Water. So I'm gonna spend another energy now, what do we want? Do we want three earth or two water? I'm actually going to look at these to help me decide which one of these I want to do. I'm going to take the earth. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste. So one, two, three. Um, and I think that is my go done. Yes, right. Back to All the right. dragon kin. I will send my enchanter over to the enchanter board so you can okay. talk about enchantments. I will. So that uh, placing an enchanter costs two energy, uh, and what you do with the enchant with with the enchantment board is you always place it on the leftmost available space. That will be important when we explain turn order. And then what you can do is you can buy up to two enchantments. The cost of the enchantment is printed in the top left. As you can see, it's generally elemental stuff, and it will get you immediate points as printed on the right hand side. So this one, for example, the emblem of peace costs a water an earth an air and a fire, but it gets points equal to the current round number plus one. So if this was bought right now, it would score an immediate two points. And then what you do is you attach it to one of your characters, but let me know which two you want to buy. You don't have to I'm buy gonna... two, you could just buy one. Oh, I will be. That's why I got so many resources in the first go. I'm going to buy the, is it mist armor for uh, one green, one pink and yep. one blue an air and earth and a water so that's going to get and you then four points and then i'm going to buy the fellow here the writ of the traveler yep it costs two things and i'll spend two more blue because i have so many of them okay I'll so bring yeah them over this here is my this, board for now so stevie is spending his elemental gems to get some points so how many points is that in total that you just got i think it's two x for the round plus four total Oh no, one is just base. So it's Yeah, one is one and the other three. one is four. So you get five points. Yeah. So you take a five point yeah. counter. There you go. I'll now them on two of mine. these <clears throat> these enchantments work in a little bit a, a little bit like banners, <clears throat> excuse me, in that you attach them to a character. However, you'll notice that the characters have banner 
restrictions, but they do not have enchantment restrictions, okay? But the maximum number of uh, attachments that each, each figure can have is three. So, for example, the merchant could have two banners and one enchantment, or it could have three enchantments. Can't have more than three enchantments in total. Um, but if you look at the cards themselves, in the top right, there is a shape. That tells you the type of figure that that enchantment can be attached to. So the Mist Armor can only be attached to a merchant or a specialist. Uh, the Ritter of the Traveller can only be attached to the merchant, the specialist, or the champion. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, you put those there. Spent all my crystals, spent my two energy. I think I'm good to go. Right. Okay. Back to you, Tony. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to... I'm sorry, we replace these immediately. Oh, we do, yes. Oh, we do, yes, right. Yeah, the difference between the banners and the enchantments is the, the enchantments do get replaced straight away. Okay. Uh, I'm just reading these. Right, yes, I think I'm going to use my leader. Okay. And I'm going to come into the center. So that costs me three energy. Three energy. So the leader can go pretty much anywhere, okay? It's the only figure that can be placed on the central gate, and that is what Tony's doing. And that does two things. First of all, at the start of each round, one key gets placed on the central gate. So, Tony, you get that key. Yep. Okay, now keys do absolutely nothing at all during the game, but at the end of the game, the player with the most gets 20 points, second most gets 10 points. Now, in terms of influence, the leader being placed in the middle gets one influence in all of the realms. It's considered, uh, yeah, I'm getting private notifications on the screen. I've turned them off. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's Rick sending me a message about something else. Um, so, yeah, you get one influence in each of the realms. Um, whereas if a leader went into the realm itself, it would generate three influence in that realm. You don't have to remember that. that Right, the sound is back on. Apologies for that, I, I've forgotten. Every time my software crashes, I have to uh, uh, unmute myself. So we're back on, apologies for that. Um, I'll explain later on what happened technically, but I've just had to do something that I've never had to do before to fix it. So pat on the back for me for fixing it. <laughs> but yeah, shouldn't have had to do that. Yeah, YouTube is having a lot of issues this week. Um, and the stream died, it cut my stream and it wouldn't let me reconnect at all. I was able to do it, but I had to use a back door. So we're back on. Uh, and we were saying, yes, so Tony placed his leader on the central realm, took the key, yes. sorry, on the central gate, took the key, uh, and you're now activating the different elementals. Yeah, I've done, I've done the air lord, so I took a gem. Okay. Um, obviously, I can't inter interact with the earth lord because you need to place caravan. Yeah. Um, I could interact with the wanderer, but I don't think there's anything on there I particularly want okay. to do. And the champion's um, special ability is actually to spend three gems, any three elemental gems, to take an onyx. Now, onyx, um, the most important rule about onyx gems is that although physically they are the same, same size and shape piece uh, as the other gems, they are not elemental gems. They are onyx. There were three points at the end of the game, uh, but they're actually um, they're, they're useful for other things during the game as well. So... Yeah, so I could, I could do that, but I'm going to pass on that. So okay. uh, that's so me you're done. You're not going to get an onyx, and no. you're done. Right, so it's my go. Now, you've already gone on the central gate, so I can't do that. Let's have another look at these objectives. Where are the objectives going? Here's the objectives. 
So I'm going to try and get a claim in three or more different realms. So I'm probably going to get a claim here. It's quite difficult, that. Well, yeah, I mean, we're tied, so we're both going to get one claim. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you've got one in there, you've got one in there. Yeah, you're, you're doing quite well on that. Right, I think... Now, I could do that. Ooh. Do I want to put my... Yeah, okay, right, I got a plan. So I'm going to place my... Um... Specialist. Yeah, I'm going to place my specialist. So that costs one energy to place my specialist. Uh, and that is going to go here. Not there, it's going to go there, right? Uh, that gets me one influence in the realm for placing my specialist. But then I am going to spend another, another energy to take this banner. And I'm going to put that banner on here. Okay, now I'm going to use the ability of my specialist. And as I mentioned right at the start, all of the different uh, factions or the races in the game are slightly different for the specialist. The specialist abilities are all different. And the insect specialist allows me to spend two energy to place two more influence in the realm. Have I done my energy right? No, I think I need to pay another one. Yeah, so it was two to place my champion. Uh, then one to activate the caravan, one to activate that, then one to place my specialist, then one for that, then one for that. Uh, no, no, I'm good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it, it, I am right. I've spent eight in total. Uh, so I get another two influence in the realm, putting me up to three, uh, and I have taken the banner, and I have attached the banner to, well, I was going to attach it to my leader. But since I only have three energy left, I'm not sure I actually want to do that now. <laughs> um, yeah, go on, I'll do it. All good yeah. then, Paul? Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just. Just rethinking things, but no, that's 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 good. I'm happy with that. You'll go. All right. Well, after you've taken the thing that I wanted, I suppose <laughs> I'll have to come over here. Um, so you're there placing seems... one of your merchants. Going here seems futile because there's already two people who have stuff, and shooting for third place is never great. If I come over here, though, there's a banner I don't really want. And maybe I'll just come over here then and try to convince people to stay away by mm -hmm. having a big lead. So I spend one of my energy to put the guy down in the first place. Yeah. I spend another energy to claim the banner. Yeah. The victory point banner will go on my specialist. Um, and in one exchange influence. for placing the guy there, I get an influence and yep. a resource of any type from the air yep. lord. So I'll take a green one. And you're going to activate, oops, you're going to activate this. Yes, I'm going to spend another energy being one of my extra blues. Uh, it's, to put uh, it... Yeah, it's not energy, it's a elemental. Sorry, uh, element. Yes, I yeah. spent a blue element in order to place a caravan where the wanderer is. I'll place it on the influence space. So I've caught up okay. there. Okay, yep, nice. I believe I'm done. So energy situation, you've now got three left. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, Tony. Okay, um, hmm. it's quite a, quite a few interesting choices. Um, mm. Yeah, you don't have as much energy as you uh, as you think. You think, oh yeah, eleven. I've got loads, and then you're like, yeah. Oh, okay, well I've just spent gone. four of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick bit of maths on my head. Let's go put this one back. Let's grab one of those. What can't I do? I think I'm going to use my enchanter. Okay, so that costs two energy. Okay, yeah. there. 
And then I'm going to buy a couple of cards. Yep. Um, so I'm going to buy... Um, I think I want to buy this one. Okay. So it's going to cost me two. It's going to cost you two water. Two water. Put those to one side. And... Oh, that gets me some pints as well, doesn't it? That gets me a pint. I'll get you one point. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to miss that. And... I think... I think that's okay. I'm going to get this one. Yeah, that also so gets you one point. Me, yeah, that cost me two of any gems, doesn't it? Two of anything, um, yeah. Um, let's get rid of those two. And then I'm going to give those to my... Um, that one has to go to my lead, doesn't it? Because it's got it a triangle. It does, because it's got a triangle on it, yep. Uh, but this one can go to... Um, well, just, I could give that to my champion, couldn't I? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, let's give that to a merchant. So, yeah, I'll spend those. I think I'm done. I just need to refresh those cards, don't I? Okay, I will let you do that. So, on my turn, I am going to spend my remaining three energy and I am going to place my leader. So, where is my leader going to go? That is the question. I think my leader is going to go here. Um, is this going to work out? Oh. Don't know if this is going to work out or not. That should be okay. That should be okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So a leader placed on one of the standard gates generates two influence in each of the adjacent realms. Two influence in each. And then I can activate all sorts of different special abilities. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the leader's um, special ability to spend three elemental gems to gain an onyx. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of... Um, just remind me, these enchantments, these, these don't disappear at the end of the round, or do they? I do not recall that they do. I believe no, they I didn't think they did. Round. Yes, I think so. Just the okay. banners that refill between rounds. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of that one, that one, and that one. So I've spent three, and I'm going to take an onyx. That's the leader's ability done. I've then got this banner of caravans. So I basically place one of these caravans, and it can go either there or there. So I'm going to place it here, which gets me an influence. Then I'm going to activate the wanderer. Now the Wanderer isn't a fixed ability, the Wanderer is based on the Wanderer card and a new Wanderer card will be drawn at the start of each round. Uh, and this is to spend one Onyx to either gain five Elemental Gems or three points. So I am going to spend that Onyx and I am going to take one, two, three, four, five. There you go, I'm just going to take all of those. Nine. And then... There is something that I haven't done, I think, or have I done everything? I've placed the banner, I've done that, I've done that. Oh, the air lord. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take another air. Right. I think that is my go done. Yes, I am done. We know that you're out of stuff, though. I will be passing when it gets to my turn next. So. so if you start the turn with zero energy, you must pass. Um, you may pass if you've still got energy left. And there can be a reason why you would want to do that, because it, it influences turn order. I only have three left, so if I'm going to play my leader, I have to do him now. Mm -hmm. I would like to do the same little dance that you did to turn three elemental gems into five elemental gems. That seems mm. very profitable. Yeah. Mm, but if I place him, which two areas do I want to influence? Knowing that Tony here also will get one more play. Yeah, Tony's probably going to take the Maybe last Maybe two. He's probably going to play this guy and generate himself another energy so he gets a turn after that, in fact. Oh, um, he could, do, could do lots of, lots of things. So, but you've also passed me here. And if there's a tie for second place, no one gets the claim. 
That makes me sad. Yeah, if there's a tie for first place, both both first places get one claim. If there is a tie for second place, nobody gets a claim, but both players get two points instead. Nope, change my mind. Not going to play the big guy. Right. Going to play. Interesting. This fellow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here. Okay. And pick up this so that's two energy spent. So one energy to place, one energy to claim the banner. And where's the banner going? I can't put it on the specialist because you can only hold one. Yeah. So we'll have to give it to the champion. Okay. Uh, so two energy used brings me down to one. And have you uh, done your influence? You get no. One I get, influence I get in that, that realm. now. And um, the specialist that, or the merchant that I just placed had the card here. Yes. So I I can spend a blue and a green to put a caravan down. Uh, place this figure in an occupied space. Place one caravan in this figure's realm. Right. Okay. Yeah. So just... Assuming that I can ignore the, the occupied space part and still I put the caravan. I think so. Down. I think so. Wizkids are in the chat. I don't know if they know the answer to that, but yeah, is the first part optional? I've not seen that card before. Um, I'm just checking to see if there's any. What's it called? Mist armor. Um. Yeah, I, I, I would say for now that they are both separate special abilities and you can use the first without the second. Fair if enough. If it's wrong, then... I will put, um, I'll put a Klingon subtitle on screen now if it turns out that that's wrong. Unless we uh, get an answer. Other than that, I am done in okay. this Klingon universe. I'm just going to send a test message to make sure the chat is still working. Yep. I think it is. <laughs> right, Tony, last turn for this round. Possibly, possibly not. Okay. Oh no, you could just place two merchants, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've not given up. Um, I think I. Well, my specialist. Yeah. So one out. energy to place it. Where does he want to go, though? Where do I need to. Good I need question. to try and win some territories, don't I? Probably give up on that one. We'd all be drawing on that, wouldn't we? Potentially. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come out here. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Get you an influence sure in that realm. One. Yeah. Get me an influence. Uh, but cost me one energy to place, but I get yep. one energy back. So I can place him down for one energy, but then he's got the you banner get the energy to back. Yep. get an energy back. So it's just, I'll grab this and give it to a merchant. So that was one energy to grab that. And then I'm just wondering whether I use his ability. Oh no, I can't use his ability. Can I pass me two? So yeah, that would be my, that would be my goal, wouldn't it? And I don't interact with the Earth Lord because I haven't placed a caravan. Caravan, yep. Yeah. Okay. So I pass, Stevie passes, and it's back to you. Nope, nope, I have one left. Oh, sorry. I oh, you do? Yes. Last energy, and I would like to play my specialist because he gets me a victory point for just right. showing up. Right, yeah. Um, so, looking over this again, I can definitely get... A isn't going to matter much here. We're both going to get one. Well, it's the number of claims we place, I guess, that yeah. matters. Mm. Would it be better? And I don't have any extra energy to spend, so none of the abilities really matter to me. Going to where the Wanderer is doesn't help if I don't have an Onyx. Yeah. Not, not, I guess I'll go here because I net out an, an a, uh, elemental resource. Okay. So one influence so, for placing it, and yeah, Stevie's specialist has a banner of victory, which basically is one point every time that character is placed. So there's my victory point. There's a victory point. And right. I'll take a green element because I don't have it, and then that will be my final turn of the round. Okay, Tony. 
Yeah, so I have got one energy left, so I can place my merchant, mm -hmm. I think. The... Um, so where's best for me to go? Um, like I said, I can, can't go there, can't go there, so it's here. Hmm. I think uh, we'll come over to the, it's going to cost me one to come over to here. Yeah, that gets you one influence. I'll do that. There you go. I can then spend, a, for his banner card, I can spend a gem. Yep. So I'll spend, say, a fire gem. Put a caravan in a realm so with the one. Put a caravan there. down, and that gets me a point. Gets you a point, yep. Okay. Are we all done? I think we are. Think None so. of us have got any energy left. It's a good sign. Okay, so we do end of round stuff. Now I'm just going to get the actual rule book to make sure I get this right. So first of all, we're going to look at each realm in turn and we're going to dish out some claims. So we have the goblins and the insects who tie for the most influence in the Chaos Realm. So what actually happens is we get one claim each. So we put a claim on our appropriate little symbol on the board. It for me goes there. Uh, and because there was a tie for first place, there is no second place. Uh, then we go into this realm board. We have the dragon kin have the uh, majority influence. So you get two claims and I get one. And there is no third place. So two claims for the dragon kin here. Missed with the first one. Uh, then we have this realm, which again we have a. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, no, that's okay. Um, so it's two claims for the goblins, one claim for the insects. And none for the dragons. None for the dragon king. Uh, and then over here, it's two claims for the insects, one for the dragon king. There we go. Right, okay, so that's the claims done. Uh, the next thing to do is the keys. Okay, so there is another way that you can gain keys other than just going by the center. What you need to do is for each realm that has an elemental lord in it, you check to see if you have three things in that area. And a thing is either a figure or a caravan. So let's look at first this realm with the air lord in and let's look at me. I have a caravan, but that's it. I only have one thing in there. How did I get the caravan in there? You played your leader, uh, or the yeah, your oh, sorry, this is GP. my leader. So I've got mm -hmm. two things in there. I've got the caravan yes, and I've got the leader. Yeah, yeah. But that's not enough. Uh, let's look at you, Stevie. You've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. So you you definitely you get a key for this realm. Oh, the claim. Oh, right. The claims count as a thing. Uh, not claims. Caravans do. Then I have three, I think, right? So it's caravans and figures. And Tony, yeah. you've got uh, you've got one, uh, and that's it. That's it. Yep. Yeah. So you don't get a key in that realm, right? Now we go to this realm, uh, and I have one. I didn't do. Oh no, I've got two. Yeah, I've got two. I didn't do very well at this bit. Um, Stevie, you're not there at all. Tony, you've definitely got three. You've actually got four. So you get a key for here. Yeah. Okay. So that's the keys. Then, then we look at the objectives. Where are the objectives? Here are the objectives. So four points if you have an attachment on each of your merchant and specialist figures. So Tony, you do. You can score four I. points. Uh, and then if you place a claim in three or more different realms this round, which I definitely did, so I get four points. They're my only points. So, did you two both do the second objective? I got no. the uh, three attachments. Right, okay. As did Tony, yep. Yep, I just did one. So that's yeah. the objectives, and then what we do is we update the turn order. So, if a player had any energy left over, the player with the most energy left over would become the first player, okay? 
So there is a reason why you might want to keep energy over from one turn to the next. We all have zero energy, so we actually look at the enchantment board for the tie break. And it's basically the player who went in here first is the first player. Then the player who went in here second is the second player. So turn order doesn't change for us. Uh, then what we do is we return our figures and caravans back to our board. So this comes back, this comes back. Um, my champion comes back and my specialist comes back. I have another caravan somewhere. Where's my caravan? There. Okay, so they all come back. Uh, then we reset influence. So all of the influence in every realm goes back to zero. Claims obviously stay on because they're going to be they're going to be counted at the end of the game. Okay, that's them done. Uh, new banners. So what we do is we deal new banners starting with the Chaos Realm and going clockwise because we might run out. We deal new banners to the empty spaces, which is there, there, there. Oh yeah, we took quite a lot of banners that turn, didn't we? Well, the game uh, gave us points for taking them. And there. Okay, so that's new banners. New keys, we need one key on the oh, central yep. gate. Yep. Uh, we discard the current Wanderer card. Okay, so that, that actually goes, I believe it goes face down on the bottom of the deck. There you go. And we get a new one. And we do the same with the objectives. I'm actually just going to leave them there because they won't come out again. There we go. So we've got two new objectives. We've got a new Wanderer card. Then we remove the Elemental Lords and then the Wanderer wanders. So the, the Wanderer goes to the next space clockwise. And then what we do is we deal new objectives, which we've done. So let's just check the objectives for this next round. Earn three or more keys. Wow. That's quite hard, isn't it? Well, if you win, you win more. Yeah, I have at least three energy, two keys, and one onyx in your supply. Wow. Okay, right. These are going to be quite tough to do. Um, well, the second one should be all right, actually, because we all got at least one key last time around. Yeah. Oh, that's in your supply, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't mm -hmm. get a key. Um, energy resets to 11. And now what we do is the new first player chooses and puts one of the elemental lords into any of the realms. It can go back where it came from. It can go with the Wanderer. Um, and then Tony, you will place the second one, but the two Elemental Lords cannot go in the same realm. Okay. Okay, we've had a ruling on Mist Armor. So to use the whole ability, you have to place it in an occupied space and place the caravan. Oh. So thank you very much for that ruling. Uh, we're not gonna go back and undo it now, but we'll do that for, for moving forward. I've placed the air lord in the second in the fire realm. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to place the earth lord over here. Yep. And we advance the hourglass to the next round, and we're off for round two. And turn order is exactly the same. Right. I need a new plan. How am I going to get three keys? It's not easy, is it? There's, there's one here, temptingly, in the middle, but... Yeah, no, I think... Yeah, no. You know, I think I can do it. I think this fellow is going to come out here. Will cost me two energy to play him and use the... and collect the banner. And I will get uh, a victory point because I've... Um, used the guy with the ability that gives a victory point every time he goes out. And are you using your specialist ability? No, my that's... specialist ability is to co-occupy with other people. Yeah. So going first doesn't uh, okay. doesn't help it much. But you do get a point for this. So. I did, yeah, I took one. Yeah, and yeah. I collected the banner, so I think I'm all good. Oh, apparently there's still a dragon caravan on the board. There is. Oh, there you go. Got it. <laughs> well spotted. Thank you. Um, okay. Should be all you, Tony. Okay, Tony's go. 
Uh, can I just check? I'm not sure actually now reading this card. I've yep. got my leader with a, a banner. Uh, sorry, not banner. It's um enchantment. So, enchantment. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. So if I put him, say I put him in the middle, um, mm -hmm. it says pay an extra energy to gain one influence in this figure's realm. Is that one for each realm? No, it in, will or? be it will be one, one in, in one of the realms. Yeah. One. Of, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then he can put the caravan as well. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I thought that was a bit powerful. I got uh, we've got a message in the chat that you should get one influence for the specialist. Yes. Yes, you definitely oh, I'm should. I'm forgetting everything. Yeah, there you go. I've given you an influence. Right. Uh... Yeah, let's get my champion into here. It's going to cost me two. Two energy to place the champion. Yeah. Yeah. And generates one influence in each of the adjacent realms. Yeah. I'll do your one in the green realm. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, the only fiddly part of the mod, isn't it? This there you go. Um, I can then another inf another energy. Uh, in not no, no, not this one. No, he didn't play to the center. Yep. That's yeah, correct. just these two. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't, I'll put my caravan, um, let's put my caravan here. Okay, for another influence. Another influence. Uh, I can grab a gem counter from the Airlord. can grab the a gem for the Airlord, yep. Uh, what do I want? Uh, I think I want an air gem. I think... Look. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I've, got, uh, I've probably done this the wrong way around, haven't I? Um, I should have put my caravan with the airflow, shouldn't I? Yeah, do you want to do that? Should I do that? Or do I want to compete on that one? Uh, no, actually, I'll keep, I'll keep it as that. Okay. Yeah. All done? Yeah, I'm done. Right, I'm going to spend three energy. I'm going to place my leader straight away. He's going to go in the middle. Grab that key, yeah. I was thinking about that. Yeah, so I get the key. Um, I then activate the banner of caravans. And I'm going to place this in here. So the leader gets me one influence in each realm. Uh, but because I put a I'm doing caravan in now. here, I get an extra influence and an extra influence. So I've actually got three in total in this realm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I should have one in here, one in there, and one in there. Right, okay, so that's the leader's influence, that's the key. Use the leader's banner, put that on there, got that, got that. Right, then what I'm going to do is I am going to use the leader's ability to convert that, that, and that into an onyx. I am then going to use the Wanderer's ability because the leader is in all realms. So I use the Wanderer's ability. Uh, in fact, I don't, not that one, that one. Oops. Just that one. There you go. So the Wanderer's ability is to spend two air to basically take, um, and I'm going to take a key. Seems good. Oh, yep. yes, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, I'm then going to get a gem from the Air Lord. So I've done everything. I've done the Air Lord. I've done the Wanderer. I've done my own ability. I've done my banner. I've done the Earth Lord. I think that's everything. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that's the that's it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome turn done. Yeah, lots of stuff going on. Mm, well played. Hmm. I guess. Uh, Ben's then... just joining the chat. Hi, Ben. Good to see you. Thank you for joining in. One of my recent patron supporters this month. Thank you for supporting the channel. No, not you yet. Not you yet. 
Let's you see. should be able to, I mean, you can watch live. You're more than welcome to watch live, but you should be able to actually rewind the live video uh, and watch the start where uh, we did two things, uh, taught everybody how to play. Um, we've been through most of the rules already. Uh, and then we had some technical issues for 10 minutes. So um, yeah, enjoy those 10 minutes of technical difficulties. I don't know if that, I don't know if you rewind it, if it will actually cut that out or it will just be 10 minutes of, of technical issues. <laughs> but uh, yeah, skip, yeah, skip past that bit. Don't worry about that bit. <laughs> you need that old test card. Yeah, yeah. Spent an energy to place my uh, merchant. Spent a second energy to take uh, this banner. I will attach it to this. Yep. This guy here. Um, so it's this then, merchant you placed. Yes. Using uh, spent a, a fire energy crystal to put a caravan in the realm with the wanderer. Yep. Which is over here today, and you're gonna get me an influence. Maybe that will be worth something. Probably not. And then his banner lets him place a caravan as well. So we'll put the caravan here. So that should get me two influence total, one for the merchant and one for this caravan. Uh -huh. And then because I placed a caravan, I get another one from the Earth Lord like that. And this, this time, I think I remember to actually do everything. OK. But chat will, of course, correct me when I'm wrong. Yes, <laughs> if you missed anything. Yeah, I'm going to tap my leader into the middle here. So it's going to okay. cost me three energy. Three energy gets you two influence in both of these realms, which I will do for you. Oh, thank you, Paul. Yep. There you go. Two influence. Um, I'm not going to use his ability. Um, okay. I'm going to use his banner. So that's another. What banner has he got? It's, sorry, it's oh, not bad. One. I keep confusing. It's, um, I, keep, I keep confusing these two. It's uh, enchantment, isn't enchantment. it? Enchantment, yeah. Yeah, so it costs me one energy, but I can gain an extra influence. In either of the realms, yep. In either of the realms, yep. So let's try and push this one a little bit. Whoops. And you can put a caravan is... in either of those realms. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Um, let's put a caravan in here and grab two. Uh, it's Earth, isn't it? Two Earth gems. And another influence because of the Earth Lord. Oh, yes, thank which, you. Which yeah. I've done. I've done the influence. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Um, so I can interact with the Wanderer because... You can. Um, I want to use the two... Um, these are air gems, aren't they? The two air gems. Pink ones are air, yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to do what you did, Paul, because I'm going to buy a key. Yep. So we need to make sure it's this round, isn't it? So I'll keep my keys separate, so I know I've got one for yep. this round, and I've keys that got you've two. Earned this round yeah. keep separate, so I don't get confused. Uh, so I think that is everything on him. Yeah. Okay, right, my go. Um, so let's have a think now. I need to make sure I get these keys from these elements. So what have I got? I've got that there. I'm going to need to do that. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to place just my... Oh, how are we doing with that? Ooh. What's the claim situation like in here? You've got two, I've got one. Uh... Do I want to compete? I think the answer is yes. So my specialist is going to come out and he's going to go here. So my specialist costs one energy to play, but then I'm going to use my specialist ability for another two energy to give me three influence in this realm. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to spend another energy down to four to take uh, this ability here, uh, three earth or two water. I'm just going to take three earth because you can never have enough earth gems. There you go. Um, and I think that's it. 
Did that, I did that. I didn't place a caravan, so I can't activate that. Yep, I'm done. Um, Stevie, you still have... have seven energy left. Yes. Um, I'm going to spend a blue and a green element to use my merchant's special enchantment that says I get to co-occupy a space. I'm very, yep. very friendly that way. Okay. Get this tabletop simulator. He'll just yep. sit on your shoulders like that. <laughs> nice. Um, and I also, that means I get to place a caravan in that realm. Yeah. God, it's got full. Take quick. the one that gives me a victory point. Oh, gives you a victory point. And, yeah. And uh, that's a total of two influence. One for the caravan, just... one for the merchant. Yep. Mm hmm. And then uh, this card says I gain an energy. So I've uh, spent one to play him and then gained it back. Yep. And then are you using the uh, the space? Uh, yes, I think I need to spend one energy to get three greens because okay. a white man once said you can never have enough earth gems. Yep. Right. That would be me done. Tony. Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to overspend it. I've got a plan, but it's so easy to get for your energy so quickly. Yeah. Um, I think I will use my specialist. Um, let's come to the middle here. Okay, so one influence for the specialist. Now, what does your specialist uh, do? Yeah, I, I'll use my banner, so basically I get that for free. Yeah, the energy I, I, yep. I spend one and gain one. Yeah, so if I spend two... I can get an extra um, influence. And a gem. And a gem, a and I can activate the Wanderer. Okay. Um, which actually, I haven't got the right gems over to activate the Wanderer. That's, um... Hmm. Yeah. There's lots of tricky if, buts, and maybes on this, isn't there? Mm -hmm. um... uh... Sorry, I'm on with an R in now. Should I just leave it at that? I think I might do. Okay. I'll take a bit of a gamble. That, that gives me enough influence to get a stake. I'll pass. Right. So, i got four energy left. I don't have much stuff going on. Um... I haven't bought any enchantments, and I probably should be buying some enchantments. Um, yeah, these are interesting, aren't they? So... Yeah, I think let's do that. Let's me spend two energy. I will place this enchanter on here. And I'm going to buy. Now that's getting a key, isn't it? Hmm, quite good, yeah. Yeah, but it's pink. I got pink. Um, so I'm going to buy the Guild Charter and Eternal Bloom. So that costs me uh, one water and one earth, and then three of something, which will be one, two, three. Okay, um, I gain one, so it's round two, so I get two, four, I get five points for that. Get five points, and these can only be attached to a circle or a hexagon. So they're both going to be attached, I think, to this one here. So you can stack them like that, can't you? Yeah, there you go. So they're both can, being attached yeah. to that one, uh, and then we get some new enchantments. I believe there's a hard limit, isn't there? A three. Three. Three, cha three yeah. attachments per figure. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that's me done. I just put that on there and I did that. All right. Then it is champion time. Comes out to the middle. Um, 
spend so two influence just for placing that. Yeah, I'm going to spend four. Go. Because I'm using the power of the space and I'm also putting another caravan out. Right. Uh, I've done your two influence the... for the champion. Here is. Yeah, the caravan will be for the two water gems. And uh, his banner gives me an energy back. Yep. Oh, those the energy banners ability. are and energy banners are really good, aren't they? The special ability of the space will give me two air gems. And now, yep. because the wanderer is here, I'll go ahead and spend those two air gems to get an onyx. Right. Nice. And I'll put it here in the middle, place of pride. Uh, I think I'm set. Okay, Tony. Four energy left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Onyx, Onyx is worth three points at the end. Uh, end of the game, Onyx is worth three points, yes. And required for this end round goal this turn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. I've completely so Onyx forgot. today is worth seven points. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't pass it up. So if I come over to here, so I'm going to use my merchant, so that costs me an energy. One energy, yep. Need to spend another energy, um, and then I need to get the two air gems. Mm -hmm. sorry, no, sorry, I'm actually immediately going to spend them because my banner is I can interact with the um, wanderer, so I might yeah. as well just spend those, and I'll get the onyx. Get the onyx. Yep. That's yeah. Fine. Which, which obviously I need. So you've um, done that. You've activated the space. You've activated the banner. Yeah. So I get uh, one influence, don't I? One influence for the merchant, yeah. Yeah, and that's it, thanks. Yep. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to place, I'm going to spend one energy. I'm going to place this merchant. Uh, this merchant is going to be placed. Ooh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get the three ammo. No, I don't think I am. It's going to go there. Um, I'm then going to activate my two enchantments. So first one is to gain either water or earth. Um, so I'll gain water because I don't have water. My second one is to spend any one. So I'll spend fire to gain an energy. And then I will spend that energy to gain this banner, which I will give to. Now then. This is a this is a tricky choice because I kind of want to give it to the merchant so that I'll be able to then play the merchant this round, but I also want to give it to my leader, which I think is better for the future plays. But do I take the hit this round? Where am I on the influence? I, I should have had I should have one for that, one for placing the merchant. Yep. Um, and then I've got one for that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. I think it's. I think it's worth it. I'm going to place it on this merchant here, and that is my go done. Yep. Joe's here. He missed the start. Uh, yeah. Go back and catch up, or follow us through and try and work out what it is we're doing. <laughs> it's not that complicated. It's kind of. It's kind of worker placement, but you've got so many choices about where you place your workers. So Stevie, you've gone on this gate. Yeah, leader is going to come out and uh, get me a couple of influence in two different places. Yeah, two there and two there. And Air Lord is going to give me an orange fire gem. Yep. And uh, I can spend some stuff to get some stuff. So I can spend three gems. Three of any things sort to get to... an onyx. Yep. So let's let's spend. Mm, I need both blue and green equally, so I suppose it doesn't matter what combination it is. We'll and the bit, Joe, three. that you did miss at the start is this is available right now on Tabletop Simulator. And I know how much you love Tabletop Simulator, so it is available. It's on the workshop. You can go on there, and I'm sure there will be people on the Gaming Rules Slack channel that would be happy to play this. So, yeah, if you wanted to get a game of it going later on. And I am done and out of energy. Right. Okay, Tony. Two energy left. Yes, so hmm, I'm thinking between getting another 
set of enchantment cards or you don't have much in the way of gems no actually yeah um... right i think oh it's two isn't it oh yeah ah. I could actually do with some more gems, but I can't see what I can get some. Oh, I could get some here. Couldn't send the some here. Yeah. Hmm. And that leaves me down a little bit on. I've not really got a great deal of claims going on here, have I? No, nope, not this time. Uh, no, I don't seem to have. Game. Um... Right, okay. Let's let's come out to let's come out to here, okay. Chaos Realm. So one energy one. to place. Yeah, and then gets, another energy and I can get some gems. Get you the one influence which I've done. And then you yeah. spend an energy to get some gems. Yeah, not sure which ones I need more than others, but I'll get two fire. And are you activating this enchantment? I could do, so that would give me, um, actually, yes, that could be sensible, that couldn't, because, yeah, 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 actually, yeah, you, I will, uh, I could put those straight, uh, I'll put one of each back, actually, yeah, because I could get a claim there, couldn't I? So, yeah, spend two gems, um, Oh no, it's only one, isn't it? It's just one gem. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. It's just one gem. Yeah, yeah, it's just one gem. I said that. I said that. I'm doing. I'm doing myself out. And you get to put a yeah. caravan either here get, or here. Caravan. Um. Yeah, let's go for an extra. Okay, it's an influence. It's an influence. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes, I'm done. Thank you. Okay, well, I've got one energy left. I will spend that one energy and I will place this merchant and I'll put it here. Uh, placing it gets me one energy. I get one influence. Um, and then I might as well spend that one energy because you two have got no energy left. No. And I'm winning ties on turn order anyway. So, yeah, I might as well. Spend that one energy and have this. Now, where is it going to go? Good question. I think it's going to go on my... It's going to go on this merchant. Yeah, because merchants can have two banners. So it's going to go on there. Right. Did I do my influence? I did. So we've got a three-way tie. <laughs> um, I think that means no one gets anything. If there is a tie for the most influence, the tied players get one claim each. There's no limit. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no limit. Fair enough. So we are at end of round because uh, we're all passing because we've got no energy left. So yeah, let's do this one first. We all get one claim. Which is kind of the same as not getting we, anything. It's kind of the same as nobody getting claims anything. Win. <laughs> in a three-player game. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Right, what's, hap what's happening down in the Chaos Realm? Uh, you two both get one claim and I get nothing. Okay, in the Fire Realm, you two both get one claim and I get nothing. This isn't going well. Well, you got yourself those keys elsewise. I, I, I got my keys, yeah. Uh, however, in the green realm, which is scientifically proven to be the best one, I get two claims, <laughs> and you two both get two points each. Oh yes, we don't get that. yeah. Yeah, there's no claims for a tied second place, yeah. which is really interesting. I get two claims on here. There you go, the one that counts. Right, Fire Lord Extra Rules Keys. Okay, so first of all, let's look at... Oh yeah, I've messed this up. I was trying to get three in here to get a key. This is the Wanderer, not the Elemental Lord. Oops, never mind. Right. 
Well, I've still got three. I've got a caravan, a figure, and a figure. So I get a key for this realm. As do I, I believe. There you go. Uh, Stevie, you've got one, two, three. Yep. Tony, you've got one, two, three. So we all get a key for oh, this yes. realm. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. But yeah. for this realm... No key. Tony, you get it? Oh, no, Tony does, yeah. Yep, yeah, because he's got one there, one there, yeah. one there. And I've only got two. Yeah, okay, so you get a key for that as well. Right, so that's the keys. Objectives. Yes to the first, yes to the second. So I get eight points. Hey. Uh, same for me, so if I do that. Um... I only got one key, so I'm missing that one. Okay. But I do have the energy two keys and an onyx, so I'll take four points. Yeah. Right. So if you've both got your points, oh, I'll no, just get rid of those now. Put me doing that as well. Um, that is the objectives. Right. Update turn order. So I'm going first this round. Now, Please it's tied between you two, and neither of you is on the enchantment board. So in that case, um, the turn order between the tied players stays the same. Right. Okay. Collect figures and caravans. Everybody comes home. Um, energy goes back to 11. Let's pop that back there. There's my leader. Goes back. Merchant. Merchant. And my specialist is rudely being stomped on. There you go. Okay. Uh, reset influence. So the influence in each realm goes back down to zero. Would somebody like to do the banners while I do the influence? Sure. Uh, we start at the chaos realm and go clockwise, just in case we run out. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's that. Banners, uh, a key on the central gate. And the Wanderer Wanders. So let's take the elementals off the board for now. Wanderer moves around to here. Um, new objectives. Right, so this round's objectives are have three or more figures with an enchantment and a banner. And to earn three or more banners this round. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Oh, that's not going to be easy. Three or more figures with an enchantment and a banner. Okay, well, I've, I've not got that at all, have I? Shall, shall we set aside banners we earn this round or mark them sideways or something? So yeah, yeah, mark them sideways or something. Wow, right, okay. Um, elemental Lords and Hourglass. So where do I want to put the first Elemental Lord? I'm going to put it... Uh, oh, now this is... Yeah, okay, so I'm going to put the Earth Lord here. Uh, second player, HDV, you can put the Air Lord wherever you want to. Adam's just joined in. Hi, Adam. Thank you for joining in. Oh, and the Wanderer oh, we, card. We need a new Wanderer, I think. We do need a new Wanderer card. There you go. What do you do today? Spend two water to get a bunch of stuff. Well, look at that. I have two water. This is going to require um, me to change my plans completely this turn. That one's about all tied up. Doing well-ish there. I put like 80 things on this board and didn't get any claims last turn. What's the key situation? I've got five. Five? Only two. Only two. Okay, and I've got three. Okay. Right. So we are all placed. We are ready. Round three. And it's me first. Okay. Off we go. Now. Do I have a plan? I do not have a plan. Right. I need a plan. So that plan is going to be to place this merchant first for one energy and this merchant is going to go it's going to go over here 
and it's going to go on here. And I'm going to spend another energy to take this banner. So I have spent two energy. I've taken this banner, uh, and this banner is going on my. It's actually going to go on this character. Yeah. So I'm going to place that banner on this character. And I'm going to mark using this that that banner was gained this turn. I'll just copy some extra ones. Right, okay. Um, I need one influence in that realm. I've done the ability of the space and I think that's it. Oh no, I've got my, uh, I've got my enchantments. Um, I'm going to gain a water gem and then I'm going to spend the water gem to gain an energy. Right, that is me done. Dragonkin, you're up next. Yep, yep. I think I'll use this merchant. Over here. So that costs oh. one. Picking up the banner costs one. Yeah. I'll put the banner to the side for a second here. Uh, I'll spend my two energy. There you go. Have some. I bought the banner this turn counters. Okay. And uh, that should get me one influence for the for the merchant. Mm, and then what can that merchant do? That merchant can spend an energy to put a caravan in the realm of the wonder and also put a caravan in his own realm. Nice. So let's Lots of caravans. Spend a green one. I think. Sorry, I have to look at the cost of the enchantments again for a second to make sure I'm not losing the one gem that I need. Mm, don't have many gems. Yeah, we're all fighting to get three banners this round. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's going to come to turn order, basically. Yeah, going last, that's not good. Mm. Yeah, I'll spend a green one. Um, so that's a caravan for the Wanderer, which is going to get me two green ones back. And it's a caravan for own realm, which is going to get me another influence. All right. I, other than placing that new banner onto somebody, I believe I'm done. Okay, Tony. Uh, shouldn't we get a gem for the Air Lord? Uh, I think that was me. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely here. right. Yeah. Thank you very much, chat. I forgot to take a gem for the Air Lord, so I'm going to take air. Air from the Air Lord. Right, Tony. Yeah, I think I will use. Should I use my? Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to compete for these banners. Um, I perhaps need one from somewhere. Uh, I'm saying that I do need one, don't I? Um... Yeah, you need one to at least. I need get one, this don't you? Uh... Okay, so let's get my merchant down here. That costs me one, I'm going to take the banner, which I think is probably the best of what's left. Um, I can give that to somebody, can't I? Uh, give it to my champion. Did I forget to do the Wanderer as well? I think I did. Yeah, I completely forgot to do the Wanderer. Never mind, that was my fault. It gives me an influence. Yeah, bad me. Uh, well, you don't I, have two water gems anyway, so you didn't miss out. No, but I could no, have taken a water gem. Yeah, it's a point. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, what's that objective? I have to have three or more figures within champ. Ah, oh, right, no, I'll give this to my merchant. It's better, isn't it? Yeah. Even though I've used him, so that's not quite worked out well. Um, but then I can spend a gem. I'm not sure it matters which one. 
to use is enchantment, which is place a caravan in the realm of the Wanderer. This here is the Wanderer. Yeah. Yep. And get an extra. More influence. More influence, yeah. Yep, yeah, that should be me done. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to place this merchant. And it's going to go here. It's going to cost me one energy to place the merchant. I get one energy back, but then I spend one energy to buy this, which goes on. Uh, yep, it goes on there. Uh, I could have placed it in a figure occupied by something else, but that's fine. That's fine. So I get one influence. We're all on one, weren't we? No, we're all on zero. Mm -hmm. Right. So I gain. I gain one. Uh, that goes on there. And it was the Earth Lord, but I'm not placing a caravan, so that doesn't do anything. Right, so that is a banner that I gained. So I've gained two banners this turn so far. Right, done. Mm -hmm. I think it is enchanter time. Mm. So that's two energy to use the enchanter okay and then i have to go buy stuff yeah which ones would you like i think we're gonna do Lava Ooh. mines. Points, isn't it? Yeah, mostly for the points. Maybe I'll actually get to use it. Uh, so this so is round fire. three, isn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's got. Cool. And onyx. So that'll be worth seven points. And then nice. I've got two blue, green, pink left. What can I afford? Don't have to buy anything. Yeah, I think I think I'll pass on the rest. You're just gonna buy one, okay? Just gonna buy the one. Yep. There you go. Um, where did you attach it to? This one. Mr. So yeah, this is worth seven points. Nice. Okay. You all done? Uh, yes, thanks. Right to you, Tony. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, some enchantment shopping, but I've not got enough gems. Yeah, that's that's the problem this turn because I wanted to go and get the banners, which means I wasn't getting the gems. And you need the gems to get the enchantments. <laughs> so, um... On there. Right, so I think I should send my champion over here. So you it's get cost me two. You get two influence in this realm. Thank you. Uh, and then I'm going to spend the one to pace the caravan. Yeah, which gets you another influence because of the Earth Lord. Uh, I can get two. Two water. water. And then I can spend another influence. You can spend an energy here to do this. Yeah, I will get. Um, I think I'll get two air, and I've got a bit of a okay. choice and things. Right. Let's have a look at the influence situation. So you're getting that one and that one. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah. So I definitely need some enchantments, but before that, I need some gems. So. Where can I go and get some gems? I also want to get some keys. 
but I also want to do that. Ah, oh, so many things I want to do. So many things. Yeah, I like games like that where you yeah. lots to do. Uh, so yeah, I, I am going to place my champion. So I'm going to spend two energy. I'm going to place my champion. My champion is going to go here. I will spend an extra energy to take this banner, uh, which is going to go on there. So that's the third banner that I've gained this turn, or this round. Uh, my champion's ability is to spend one energy to place a caravan, which I will. Um, I haven't done my two influence yet for the champion. No, so two influence for the champion. I then place this on there, which is another influence and another influence, so up to five. There we go. Um, so yeah, champion went in there, bought the banner, did the thing, activated the Earth Lord, activated my champion's ability. And I think I'm done. Yeah, done. So Sounds fancy. Mm. Let's do... Maybe I don't need to use that one. So let's just go over here. Mm, hold on a second. Let's think about this again. Because I can do that. But I wanted that over there. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's, the first idea was a good idea. Let's come over here. Costs an energy to use him and an energy to gain two red things. Ooh. Lots of gems. Um, and then I will gain an energy and put a caravan down. And the caravan on this board is just an influence or a victory point. But since no one yep. else is here, maybe two will be enough. So it's one for the merchant and one for the caravan. Correct. Yeah. Okay. That's it for me. Back to the goblins. Ah, energy. I just need. More. I just need two more energy. I think. Hmm. So that's that's three. Hmm. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of keys, but I don't know if it's worth. Yeah, you've got a two key advantage over me at the moment. Fighting, pushing myself on keys. No. Let's come down here. I need to get my enchantment. So that's two energy. And I'll buy some of these enchantments. Okay. Glad you did that. Some of these are worth quite a few pints, aren't they? Yeah, well, it's round three now, so these get more valuable as time goes on. This one is plus, it's quite expensive to use, isn't it? Place, uh, yeah, I mean, it cost an onyx to buy the card, so yeah, but it's gonna get me quite a few pints. It's your seven points if you buy it now. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't fit in with it, doesn't fit in with who can use it. Uh, that's a nuisance. I really need to put it on my specialist and my merchant, so I'll scrub that one. Um, so in fact that limits what I can buy actually because I can only really buy that. Yeah, I really hope these two cards come out are favourable for me because otherwise... Yeah, I've just realised I need to put it, I need to put these on specific characters. Yeah, so. yeah I'm not happy with uh, the cards that are currently out. So I think I can spend any two of these, I need one. So three for that one and two for three. that one. Two for that one, yeah, so I'm done. And that's two for that one. Yeah, I just wanted to do that objective and I realised I can only put them on my circular shaped people. So that limits where I can put them. So that's going to get me, um, is it three points for this one and four points for that one? So seven points. 
Yep, seven points. Right, let's see what's here. Okay. Oh, look at that. It costs two Onyx to buy. Wow. Wow. It comes with a brand new car. <laughs> it does. <laughs> right, so my go. My leader is going to come out. And he's going to go here. So that gets three influence in that realm. One, two, three. Ooh, ouch. Okay. I then... Uh, so that costs three energy. One, two, three. I then use one energy for the... S oh, no, no, I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't got the energy. Oh. Oh, this is bad. So if I've not got the energy, there's no point going on the space. I might as well go here. Uh, yeah, I might as well go there. So instead of getting three influence in that realm, I only get two, but I also get two in this realm. Okay, right. Now, the first thing is the Air Lord. So I'm going to activate the Air Lord first. That is going to get me a water. I'm then going to use the Wanderer. I think I've got this right. Yeah. And I'm going to spend the two water at the Wanderer to get... Um, Oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, I think I'm just going to get another Onyx. Oh, then again, there's, there's this. <laughs> which is so nice. So tempting. Oh, it's very tempting, but I don't think I'm going to do it. No, I'm just going to spend the two water to get an onyx. Does that leave me with enough to buy the stuff that I actually need to buy? Yeah. Okay. So that's the Wanderer done. I'm not going to use my leader's ability. I'll tell you what, I could have done that. No, 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 no. Then I'm going to use my banner to place a caravan. And this can go in either realm. Um, but I'm going to put it on... What have I got in there at the moment? I've got one, two... It's going to go on here and it's going to go on the influence space. So that's another two influence there. And I think that's it. So I've placed the leader. I haven't used the leader's ability. I've used the Wanderer. I've used the Air Lord. I've placed my caravan. I got the bonus. Yes, done. Just Specialist. got enough to play my Enchanter. Specialist comes out, grabs this card, uh, gives it to the champion, spends a total of two. Generates a victory point mm -hmm. and uh, one influence to break the tie over there. Uh, nope. There we go. Okay. And, uh, you just sneaked ahead of me. Anything else? That's it, thanks. All good? One, two, three. Ah, okay, this is good. That's on a specialist. It's going to mm -hmm. come out here. Um, that gives me an influence, does it? So it would cost me obviously, an energy, but I get an energy anyway. Um, yep. I can chuck a gem in to get another energy, so I'll just tuck, chuck the gem in from the Air Lord. Um, How'd you do that? 
Uh, I got oh, a gem from one. the airline, and then I used it basically just to pay for that. Nice. That's good. So yep. actually, yeah, got two energy from going there. Um, and then I could also... Sorry, what else could I do? I missed something here, aren't I? Oh, yes, I can interact with the Wanderer, can't I? Yeah. You want two um, water. Yeah, so it's, I've got two... I've got two water. Give me your water. Um, and I can get... I think I'll get a key. Okay. Uh, oh yes, and I could, I could, yeah, I can spend an energy. You're on this middle space, aren't you? And uh, I'll get free earth. Yeah, yeah. That's always worth, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Right. I'm going to spend my last two energy. I'm going to place one of these enchanters. I'm going to put it on here. And if I've worked this out correctly, I spend. Most dangerous words in board gaming. Yeah, I spend <laughs> two onyx. She's throwing away six points. Uh, a fire and an air to buy these two. This gets me a total of three plus nine. So it gets me 12 points now. So five, 10, 11, 12. Um, and then I'm attaching them. So this can be attached to my leader. So yeah, I'll attach that to my leader. Um, and this can be attached to this little fellow down here. And that's my go done. Can can I offer you some reasonable denomination tokens? <laughs> um, go on then. Um, it's champion time. He's been powering up all day. Um, he is going to find himself over here. Oh, that will cost two energy just to place him. Two um, influence. And then activating. Um... The Lava Mines will cost a red and a green and another energy. And then using his ability to place a caravan will cost my last energy. So I get a caravan in one of his spots, which will be this one over here. That's so the guy. Lava Mines allows you to place two caravans. Oh, wow. Um... Oh, that's right. So I don't have to spend no. an energy for the champion's own ability. Yeah. So, right. Um, two caravans in the realm. So that's going to be... I've gotten the extra influence, and then this other one gives yet another influence and a victory point. Yeah. So you suddenly so went up to five. Yep. I was on zero. Um other things that I get to do uh, since I'm here I get to play with the air lord yep air lord wants to give me a green back that orange is spent um, and the wonder to activate the gain an energy from this banner activate the wanderer with this banner wanderer wants blue gems today so he can have them and that will get me a key I think so here's the key. How many keys does that put you on? That puts you on three as That's well. Only only three, yeah. I'm not, not close to the five number that we had earlier. Um, well, me and you are fighting yeah. for second place on the keys. So I got one from the champion, two, three, four. Uh, I think I should be a four. Sorry, influence. I gave you two influence. Yeah. And but it should have been one. Game, I mean, yeah. So yeah. one down there, one down there. That's it. Yeah, I think that's right. I got a mistake. Um, so if I have a card that says activate the wanderer, and I've played in a place that the wanderer is hanging out, if I had enough water gems, I'd be able to activate him a second time. Well, that's a good question. Um, you have two ways. I I would say you get to activate the wanderer twice. Again, if that's not true, I'll put a message on screen now. We're using the Klingon subtitles, but I think you have two ways of activating the wanderer. Um, I, I think can't... I agree with oh, you, no, but no. at least in this case, no. yeah, I don't it have says the resources for it. The Wanderer exchanges once per activation. You've activated it twice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, you're saying you don't yep. have two additional water, so you can't do it. However... But if I did, it would be fine. No, but the Wanderer, if you look what he does, you can give him two water, and he'll give you two water and a victory point back. Oh, so I should so just... So basically have a victory point. 
Thanks very much. There you go. Thank you. And I will, I will double check if that's the case. I think you can activate the Wanderer more than once if you have multiple ways of activating it. But I'll see if the chat has another answer for me. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Um, I'm all set. And then Tony, she'll go. While I read the rule book. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Zev is in the chat. You can activate the Wanderer multiple times. Thank you very much, Zev. Yeah, it's quite powerful, that, isn't it? Um... It is, yeah. Some of these enchantments are really nice. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might as well use... My, although it's not optimal. Um, yeah, I think, I think it says in the rule book that performing a non-optimal move loses you ten points. Mm -hmm. so, oh, well, I'm uh, somewhere around negative. Thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's come out here. Let's, let's put him in here. At least it says it in my rule book. The ink is a little bit wet, but you know. It's as official as it's If your name is Paul Grogan and you perform in the suboptimal move, <laughs> then you're okay. Yeah, because oh, I can. I see. I see. The um... escape clause for the escape clause. Oh, hang on. I can turn three gems into an onyx counter. Into With a... your leader, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I got three influence here. It cost me three energy, so I've got one left. Yeah. And then I think I will, yeah, grab the onyx. They have points, aren't they? Well, when it comes round to me, I pass. I really should have taken an onyx on the last turn. I was not paying attention. Um, but I have two energy left, so my options are to go first or to waste two energy. And if I don't go first, I'll be going last. Ooh, because yeah. the goblin's ahead of me in the turn order. So... I'm going to I'm going to see what it's like to waste some energy and I'll I'll pass. Well, you're first in here. Oh, was I first in there? Yep. Oh. Fair enough. Yes, you first. Right. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've been mistaking myself for insects accidentally. No, no, no. And it's that a case, common mistake. It doesn't make any sense to uh to have done that and yeah, I Oh, except my... you can't no. place your enchanter. Why not? Uh, Cuz we'll play this... only. Oh, a it's four not, place not place right. I'll cover it over. Then, then I then I don't have any um anything to do with my last two energy because my leader costs three to place and I don't have. Okay, any. right. So we I, are done. End of round. Yeah. So claims. Let's have a look. Let's do the chaos realm first. This is two claims for the dragon. None for anybody else. I can just drop this down now, can't I? Yeah. Do we get the points for being second? Oh no, we got no, we got no. Was, no, you've got to be in it to win it. Yeah, so. yeah, sorry, yeah. Damn. I heard right. two claims to the dragons. So, there so we go. two claims to the dragons in the chaos oh, realm. On the chaos realm. I put them okay, so over here we have two claims for the insects, uh, and one claim for the dragon. I can just copy and paste this one. There you go. Fair enough. Oh, except I've just copied the whole lot. That's fine too. <laughs> And now I've just deleted the whole lot. I've, I've made a complete mess of it, basically. Um, I think I should be on four. I think I yes. have three. You should be on four. And so adding one would make four. Yeah, I copied an entire stack. Bad me. You don't know what power you wield, Paul. I know. Right, over here we have two claims for the insects. And one for the gobbo. There you go. Did it right that time. And there it's tied one for purple and yellow. Yep. One for purple, one for yellow. And that is that. Done. Okay, so that's the claims done. Keys. Right, let's check this realm here. So uh, we can all do our keys individually. I get a key for here. And I get a key for here. So two keys for me. Looks like it's only one for me. Yeah, just one for me. One, two. Right, so the key situation is I've now got six. I've got seven. I oh. thought I had six. No, I've got five. That's four, that's five, better. Seven. Yeah, I've got five. 
What have you got, Stevie? Only four. Four. So that's the keys done. Objectives. I think I've done both of the objectives. I've got three or more figures with an enchantment and a banner. And I earn three or more banners this round. So I get eight points. I've only yeah, got I've... one of those. Yeah, same here. I've only done the three. That one. So. Yep. Uh, I chuck out. Okay. Got a five. Uh, right. Updating turn order. I've already done that. Okay. Right. We all get our energy back and we reset our board. All of our stuff come home. Champion returns home. Merchant comes home. Move the Earth Lord off to one side. Caravan. Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay, and I need my Enchanter back. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, reset influence I've done. Uh, dealing new banners. Do we have enough? I think we do, just about. Yeah, that was a very busy round for taking banners. Nope. Still four left. Yep. Um, keys. So nobody went on the central gate, which means there are now two keys on the central gate. Ooh, uh, the Wanderer Wanderers. We then get a new Wanderer card. Okay, so let's have a look at the Wanderer card this round. Once fire. Okay. Um, new objectives. So let's get rid of these. Let's deal two new ones. There we go. All of your merchants and specialists in realms have two or more influence in every realm with an elemental lord or the wanderer. Okay, should be doable. Um, reset the elemental lords. So Stevie, you get to pick where the first one goes and Tony, you get to pick where the second one goes. There it is, it's in. Okay, it just likes to hang out with the wanderer. Yeah. We're going to make a road movie. Just have a look at these objectives again. Have all of your merchants and specialists in realm spaces. Yeah. And have two or more influence in each realm with an elemental lord and or the wanderer. Yeah, that's, that's quite easy, that one. It I think, yeah. compared to the others. Right. Advance the hourglass. We are now moving to the last round of the game. Off we go. So the man wants fire. I feel like I should be giving him fire. He does. So let's have the merchant come out here. That's going to cost me one to use the merchant, one to gain three fire. Um, then I get to put uh, a caravan in the realm and a caravan in a realm with the wanderer. So here's a couple of caravans. Uh, one will get me an influence, and that's going to be the two influence requirement. Do I want to just get more influence? Counting the current claim situation, because that's where the points come in at the end of the game. I think I do. All right. So that's a total of three influence. Um, freebie from the Air Lord is going to be blue, I think. And then two of these fire are going to be used on the Wanderer. Uh, um, and we're going to pick up... Um, the Onyx, I think. So you went for both of the caravan spaces that gave influence. Yep. Nothing to see here. Everybody should just ignore it. Move along. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you're yep. going to get that one. I'm, I'm all good. Okay.
Uh, Zeb, since you're in the chat, uh, and I might have missed it earlier on when we're having the technical issues, but when exactly is this game out? Do we have a do we have a specific release day yet? I know it's supposed to be sometime around now, but I didn't know if we had anything more precise. Um, and a lot of my audience is UK based, so if you know the UK release date as well, as well as North America, uh, that that would be useful because I've got people asking me, and I don't quite know what to tell them. All right. Put a mission here. Cost me one energy. Game one influence. I'm going to spend another energy to grab that. By the banner. Yeah, give that to me, champion. Um, and then I can spend. Um, so I can get a gem from the air lord. Mm -hmm. doesn't really matter doesn't matter which one because i'm going to spend it to place a caravan in the realm of the wanderer okay which gives me two fire and i believe he wants fire he wants fire so do i grab a key um let's grab a key so that puts you on how many keys eight eight keys eight keys i'm trying to make the key i'm trying to make the key thing my thing yeah trying to uh yes that's me done okay right in which case yeah that's kind of not gonna work uh, this is the earth lord isn't it right okay so okay i'm going to place this merchant and this merchant is going to go on here I am going to, so it's one energy to place the merchant. I'm then going to spend another energy to use the ability of the space and take three earth. I'm then going to activate the attachments that I have. So I get an energy, I get a fire. For that, yeah, so gain a fire, gain an energy. That bottom one doesn't do anything. Uh, that was the merchant place. The merchant actually gets me one influence. And I think that's it. Yep, that's my go done. Nice and simple. Uh, oh no, the, yeah, the Earth Lord was there, but I can't use it. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Enchanter uh, goes here. Yeah, WizKids are saying that it is out in America uh, Wednesday. So this coming Wednesday it should be out in, in the US. So two onyx gets me ten points. Um, so I guess I Joe's interested in the video. I have done a how to play video as well. So uh, obviously this is a playthrough. You're seeing how it plays, but I've done one of my um, short-ish, concise, twenty-minute so uh, how to play videos on the game. So if you just want a, you know, a short video that's a tutorial on how to play, that video is on the channel now as well. Sorry, I interrupted mm -hmm. you there. What were you doing? I was uh, buying the enchantment that, that was worth the uh, number of turns plus six points, and I've taken away six points. Number of turns plus six? Yeah. So that's ten points. That's what I've taken. Wow. But since oh. onyx are worth three at the end, really, it's only like... It's, it's a four points, yeah. Nothing yeah. four, yeah. Yeah. And I think I'm also going to take this fellow under the same points are worth points, and I'm behind on keys kind of logic. And this has to go, I think also, can I put it on my dude? I can put it on my dude. So let's put them both on Mr. Big Dude. Yep. Maybe I'll actually use him this game. So that gets you four points? Yeah. And for some reason, that there we go. Um, and that's it. I just need to spend the pink and the orange. Okay. But otherwise, Tony. we can move on. Hmm. 
Alright. Champion. I'm just looking where I can compete. I'm, I'm yeah. not actually, I'm not actually got that much influence <laughs> in some of these places. So, well, you're second place mm. here, which is ten. Yeah, place. you could true. compete for first, but I've already sort of, sort of gone in there. Uh, this is a bit wide open. This this realm over yeah. here, this is still wide open. Mm. This is up for grabs as well, and this is kind of between us two. So yeah. Right, let's let's see if I can do something here. I put my leader. Whoa. Okay, yeah. So Zeb's saying that obviously with COVID and stuff like that, a lot of dates have had to be juggled around. Um, but it should be in the UK soon, apparently. So, yeah, I will I will let people know when it when it is available. Cost me three, two, three. Because if it's it before up. Christmas, I think this um, might be going on a few people's lists. So I'll gain, I'll pain another energy to gain another influence. Right. Realm. Um, Gone up to five. And then place one caravan, uh, which gives me a pint, doesn't it? But it's better than a yep. kick in the teeth. Better than a kick in the teeth, yep. As they say. Is, is there a token for that? A what, a kick in the teeth token? I can make one if yep. you want. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, Import it's quite a object. <sighs> Quite expensive, isn't it, to use your leader? But I'm gonna see if that works. That's me done. Right. Is it still open? It is. I am gonna place my leader in the middle, and I am gonna take these two. Oh keys. yes, yeah. I was worried that somebody else might take them. Oh yeah. Seven keys. The key game. Right. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend three Earth using the sigil of elements to gain an earth a fire an air and a water okay then i'm going to use the banner of caravans to place a caravan so this can actually go anywhere um where do we want to put this i'm actually going to put it um oh gosh I'm going to put it here. Oh no, where's the Earth Lord? The Earth Lord's here. Oh, I could just put it here and be done with it. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. So I get one influence for placing the leader, one for placing a caravan in the realm with the Earth Lord, and one because I put it on that space. I need to get one influence in each of the other realms. Okay, so I've used my leader's enchantment and I've used my leader's banner. I'm now going to use... What am I going to use next? Um, I've used the Earth Lord. I haven't used the Air Lord, so I'll use the Air Lord to get a Fire Gem. And then I'm going to use the Wanderer to get rid of two Fire Gems and take now. Key situation, eight. Key situation for me, seven. So I am going to take a key. Oh. I'm going to try and compete. You're pushing me on keys now, yep. On keys. It's either that or take an onyx, which is a guaranteed three points, but... An yeah. onyx, I think. I've done that. So leader went in the middle. I've done all mm. of the things. I've activated all of the things. I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I haven't spent the energy for the leader. I better do that. Otherwise, that's cheating. <laughs> um, oh, I do have I do have the leader's innate ability, which I will use, um, which will be one, two, three for an onyx. There you go. Done. All right. Uh, champion comes out over here. Cost me 
two energy to use him, one energy and some bits to use his special ability, and then I gain one back. So that's a net cost of two energy. The bits are a red and a green. They're being spent now. And we go a caravanning. Mm -hmm. um, so many caravans. So let's see. I'll think about those in a second. For right now, this goes up one and this goes up one. Yep. So if a champion placed here. I think I want to have this one. So I get a second one here. That's another one. Oh, it's going to be tight in here. To get another one here. And I also gain a victory point and could activate the Wanderer, but don't have two reds. So I'll yeah, pass that. Yeah, that's a mistake going in there. And I think I'm done. Okay, Tony, you got five energy left. Five energy left here. I'm just looking to understand these objectives. So merchants and specialists, two more in each realm. So it's this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, rats. Slightly miscounted. Yeah. Darn it. If you have the option to place two caravans, they don't have to be in the same realm, do they? No, no. As long as they're in the realm that you've got influence over. Yeah. Um, I don't say in that. Oh, this is a head scratching, aren't it? So many things I need to compete on that. Um... Yeah, the problem for me is going to be this key from here. I. Yeah, I could do it, and I think I'm going to have to, because you're getting a key from here. If you also manage to get a key from here, mm, then, that's I, then I've got a real problem. So yeah, I'm going to have to get a key from here, which I can do. I can't compete with you guys here, can I at all? So it feels like a waste in this realm. I'm just too far behind. Um, but again, yeah, this... me going in there heavily on this turn has kind of... I mean, you do get 10 points for second place. But yeah. he's got no claims in here at all. So you, you are guaranteed second place in this realm. Yeah, nobody else needs to bother with that this round. Not that I'm trying to dissuade you, but I don't think there's any... Yeah, you certainly don't need claims in there. Let's put the champion in here. Two influence for the champion? Yeah. I can place a caravan. Mm -hmm. Which is another influence. Mm. Oh, yes, for the yes for the earth lord, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's get a, let's get another. Okay. Influence. That's fine. I don't mind us both getting one claim in here. That's good with me. Um, and then I can. Do I want to spend another to get another to caravan? Probably not. Do I want to grab that energy? I'm paying an energy to get an energy later on. I don't think there's any point, is there? No. Not unless there's a reason for having the banner, which I don't think there is. No. Yeah, let's... Let's... How much energy do I actually need, though? So I'm just looking at how much I have. Some of these guys are fairly cheap, aren't they? Effort. Yeah, come on. Let's spend an energy. And then I can grab myself a couple of gems, can't I? Okay. And you get another influence because it's the realm with the Earthlord. Oh, of course, yes. There you go. So you've gone from... Planned. Exactly as, exactly as I planned it. Yep. 
<laughs> Not. Yeah, I think that's me done. Right, I'm going to place this merchant in here. It costs one energy to place the merchant. I am then spending another energy to activate this space, which gets me two fire. Uh, I get one influence for placing the merchant, and I then activate all of these abilities here. Uh, one of which is get a point. Uh, another one is spend an element to gain an energy. And another one is to gain a water or an earth. So I will just gain an earth. And there's nobody else in this realm. So that is me done. Mm -hmm. Which do I want to do first? I guess I should go use this guy. So the specialist comes to join you over here. Okay. Cost, cost me one energy to use him. So that's one. A vic victory point. He makes his normal one. Yep, done that. And I can spend an extra one to get two water or two air. Yeah, I think that's fine. Actually, you know what? For the first time this game, I'm going to use the specialist's special ability. Oh, what does it do again? Oh. Uh, it lets me co-occupy your space and get an extra influence. Right. I, mo I mostly just want the extra influence. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It means instead of two water, I can take two fire, which is what the Wanderer wants. Yep. All right, all done. Okay. Tony's down to two energy. Oh, is it back to me? Yeah. Well, um, I'm still I'm still in heavy thinking mode here. Um, what can I compete with here? You've still got quite a bit of energy left, haven't you, Paul? So... I do. Yeah. yeah. I've placed my leader, and I've placed a couple of merchants, and I got one back, or two back. So, yeah, I've got my next two turns planned out. Wish I did. Um... Well, they're planned out unless you go where I need to go, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll then I'll replan. Just let me know where that is, Paul, and I'll make sure it happens. Sure. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Should not spend this other guy now. Uh, place. Oh, place in a space. Our rocky occupant. Uh, oh, he's got an elemental lord. Uh, rats. Oh, but I could. No. It's a shame. Uh, I think I've got to use my specialist. But where do I put him? I'm thinking here. Okay. So it can't be one where I get one back. I can then spend a gem to get another to actually be surplus energy. Oh, lots of energy. Um, and then what's his actual my specialist? I can spend hmm, is it worth two spending? energy two. to get stuff. Um, I can't interact with a wanderer. Fortunate, isn't it? Um, uh, do you know? I'm not even sure if it was worth doing that. What does that actually gain me? Doesn't seem to gain me anything. That really, I can't really compete on the. Influence. I'd imagine you're going to use the energy somewhere. Yeah, I was going to use it, but I haven't got gems. To, I haven't got gems to buy anything. Mm. Um, Paul can quite easily just clip past me anyway. Um, well, so I'm not doing a great deal here, am I? Uh, I guess I can't interact with the wander. There's nowhere to get fire gems, is there? Um, 
Yeah, sorry, this has turned out into a bit of a damp script, this, this girl. Um, it's tricky when we get to this stage of the game. It is, yeah. Um, it's all fun in games until you see the the last of your actions go away. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, this is not this is not what I had in mind for the last few actions. Right, so I guess perhaps I wanna actually get some gems down to and then perhaps buy a card, that would give me something. So yeah, so I guess I do Oh no, but the bonus thing is place out of your Ah, you've got to place all your merchants and specialists, something you to get four points. Yeah. Ah, four points. Well, this game. It's nice. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Um, go on then, I'll see if I'll... If I spend the two, my specialist skill. Mm-hmm. Uh, get an extra... So an extra influence in here. Yeah, you'll just go past me, won't you? Go on, I'll try it. And you get okay. an element gem and you get to interact with the Wanderer, but he wants two fire. I can't. Yeah. yeah, I don't have it here. So, I just well, didn't yeah. plan that. I didn't plan that at all well. The move that I was going to make was to put the champion here. Yeah. So that gets me one influence in there yeah. and one influence in there um i activate the air lord i'll just get a fire and then i'll activate the wanderer spending two fire to get now i don't think i need to take the key oh you don't Oh, or do I? Oh no, because you're getting a key from here and you're getting a key from here. So no, yeah, I need to take the key. You are. Yeah. I need to take the key. Absolutely need oh, to take the key. My entire strategy hinged on me winning keys. Okay. Now, the other thing, because I've placed the champion here, I can... Oh, sorry. I've got another ability to activate the Wanderer. So the first thing I do is I convert two fire into two fire and a point, and then I convert two fire into the key. Right. So I've done that. Then I spend an energy to place a caravan, I think. Yes. I spend an energy to place a caravan, which can't go in here because it's full. So it goes in here. A couple of points. Which gets me a point. It's a point, basically. An energy for a point. I don't know if that is a good use. Probably not. <laughs> Um, a point's free over here. But let me just check. I have two influence here now. Mm -hmm. But importantly, I have three things. No, I don't. Something's gone wrong. What's gone wrong? Ah, right. My my whole game plan has just gone completely awry. What's happened, Paul? Um, I needed to save this merchant, which had an ability that allowed me to place this figure on an occupied space. Yep. To put it in here, which would give me the three. One, two, three. Yep. And I don't seem to have that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've already I've already used that merchant, so I've, oh, I've made got you. I've right, made a big misplay, but that that's fine. Oh, I I I can't do anything about that now. Um, I think I'm done. I did I pay the two energy for the champion? I'll go back to YouTube and check. Do you want to take your go, Stevie? I will. <laughs> sure. I will just uh, go and mine's, check. I mine's look a little back easier. at my video unless anybody. Uh, Three, I'm gonna gain one and spend one. I can't spend any more this turn, so it doesn't matter where I go. Might as well block this. So I spend an energy gain and energy um, use this guy's ability to place a caravan. It's my last caravan. It will get me two water things. It will also get me an influence here. And uh, that's it for me.
So I place my champion, I gained my influence. My energy was on one, two, three, four, five, it was on seven. I then seem to be doing stuff, but it's now on five, so I must have spent my two energy at some point. Might be yes. back around you anyway. It's about to maze it now, that's right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Just looking if I can make any fantastic plays of. Doesn't feel like it. If I had one more fire gem, that would have been brilliant. I don't think there's anything I can do, is it, to get another gem? Oh, did I? Oh, yes, I did, didn't I? Yeah, I almost went to. Okay, now I was on seven. I spent one to place the caravan. I don't think I spent the two to place the. I don't know why I'm on five. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. Mm. I'll go down to four. I think that's what it should be on. That's fine. To play the ch to play the champion. Yeah, I think I was on seven before I played the champion. It was two to play the champion, yeah. and then I yeah. spent one energy to place the caravan. So I think I should be on four. Right. Not you. Right. Um, oh, I've accidentally gone forward to my free wayfinder video. Oops. <laughs> I think the only thing I can do that's of any particular. Got to play. I've got to play my merchant haven't for the bonus. In order to get the four points, yeah. Yeah. Um, doesn't make any difference. I don't think if I win. Where does it? Um, uh, uh, still got his lead, doesn't he? That's quite powerful. Um, leader can't influence down here. I think the only space that can't be influenced is here, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually quite good for you because that will stop us both getting yeah. the claim. Which means I think that's you all will I can do. second place. Yeah, I think that's all I can do, just move up. Yeah, it's a good move. Um, I could have activated the Wanderer if I'd had another fire gem, but ugh, kicking myself now. Yeah, I don't think I can do much about that. So I think Mr. Specialist is going to come out. Um, and he's going to go. He's going to go over here. Uh, I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to spend. One energy to place it. Hmm. Yeah, I probably want to buy an enchantment at the end because they're worth probably more points than a couple of gems. How much energy have you got left, Evie? Three. It's a very inconspicuous number there's no reason you should worry about having three energy <laughs> and, and 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 how many is it to place a leader hmm. uh less than four right okay yeah okay i'm just gonna go in there and i'm just gonna get one and yeah i don't want to use the ability um i can activate the wanderer unfortunately i'm missing a fire gem oh this area Same. here got yeah, same here. Filled up okay. really quickly. Yeah. Nope, that's it for me. I just did that. You'll go, Stevie. Uh, I spend oh, it's in, all falling apart you know, at the end. Inconspicuous uh, amount of energy to place my leader there. Yeah. Um, gives me two here, which satisfies the end goal. Gives me two here, which means I make a claim, and I think that means I get at least half first place points for that. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I get to spend two on the Wanderer to buy an Onyx. I get to spend three with the Leader ability to buy another Onyx. 
Yeah. And you've I'm got the Air Lord cheap. to activate as well. Oh, well, that mm, I'm not sure that that matters. <laughs> okay. Because I can't do anything with a single elemental gem. Right. But, uh, but the two Onyx is six points, which is nice. Yeah, very nice. All done. And I'll be okay. passing. Okay. Right, Tony. Uh, yeah, I need to pass on zero. So I'm going to spend two energy to place an enchanter here. And I'm just going to buy something that gets me points, which will be. Donuts. Donuts. Always get your points. Donuts are worth a lot of points. I think this costs me two points and gets me five. Whereas this. This is actually slightly better. Yeah, this costs me three. This costs me four points, but gets me eight. So we're taking that one. So I spend the onyx, the air, and the water. And we're going to put this on my champion. And that gets me eight points. Boom, boom. Right, and we are done. So we do end of round stuff. Uh, so let's have a look here. So two claims for the dragon kin, Thank and then you. two points each for the goblins and the insects. Oh, physics. Right, so that's the chaos realm done. Next, we have this realm, which is two claims to the dragons, one claims to the insects. Rats. How many claims do the rats get? Uh, the rats get five claims. Dude, rats are OP. Um, okay, in this realm, we have one claim each to the goblin, sorry, two claims to the goblins, one claims to the insects. Oh, missed. Okay, and then in this realm, it is one claim each to the dragons and the goblins. Okay, I shouldn't have moved that influence down because of the objectives. Right, that is the claims done for the end of the round. Keys. So if we all want to work out our own keys, I've got one, two, three, I get one key. I get two. Only one for me, but I don't know that I care about keys. Okay. <laughs> right. Not with, not with oh, wow. those giant towers you folks have. And then objectives. So yes, I did that one and I did that one, so I get eight points. I should have them both as well. Yes, I have eight. Everyone out let's, and let's have two influence here and here. Okay, right. So reset play area we don't need to do, so we just skip to final scoring. So for each of the realms, whoever has the most claims gets twenty points, second most gets ten points. So in the green realm. I get 20, uh, and the goblins get 10. In this realm, Dragon King get 20, goblins get 10. Oh, denied. Um, in the Chaos Realm, it is 20 for the Dragon King, 10 for the goblins. And in this realm, it is 20 for the dragons, 10 for me. Okay. Points from keys. I've got 10. I've got 10. Yeah. So we both get 10 points each and there is no second place. Can't believe I lost the key. Yeah. Right. Element gems. One point for every two gems that you have. I have two gems. So I got one key. Uh, points from onyx nuggets. You get three points for each onyx nugget. And that is it. 99 for me. Stevie's won just by how many? 122. Oh, nice. I don't seem to have a lot here. I've got 40, 60, 66. 66. Yeah, no, 80. 86. You have uh, eight fives is 40. Yeah, there's 40, 46. Oh, yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't so, 86, oh, wow. 99, cool. and then 120-something. 
Wow. So, there I you go. It. Now, this was a three-player game played over Tabletop Simulator uh, with two people who played it for the first time with some technical issues earlier on. Uh, this probably would be a 90-minute to two-hour game max, I think. Uh, obviously, those factors combine, comprise together to make it uh, a little bit longer. Um, but, Stevie, do you want to give us your initial thoughts? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's got that... Well, I think I think the viewers would have seen it. There's a lot of push and pull about, well, I built this little engine. I need to use yeah. these guys in this order, but then where do I put them? And where do I put them is based on opportunity cost for what other people are going to take, which abilities you want to power up and, and that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, I felt like I was able to be fairly efficient by completely ignoring one realm and then winning the other three. Right, um, yeah. You guys fight over keys um, where I just picked them up by accident by having uh things in the in the realms where the the lord elemental lords were waiting for me yeah mm, i think there's probably a, a a chance at ap um because especially at the beginning of the round you have so many options there's probably over a thousand possible moves to make at the beginning <laughs> of the round. um so unless you've got it in your head that you know you you know exactly what it is that you want to do with your turn i can see that being something that stretches on for folks but i don't think that's necessarily any more so or like an order of magnitude greater than a lot of other worker placement games yeah yeah so all in all i think it's it's pretty bright and colorful and uh the theme is uh original um maybe it can go deeper with an expansion i'd like to see if uh if this takes off you know there's a lot of open design space for for extra bits to be added not just mm. more of the theme, but you know maybe an event deck or a hero or something like that i don't know yeah. But, yeah, one of the I, things that was certainly apparent to me in this playthrough, which I, I don't think you get from a tutorial video, but you get from a playthrough video, is the way that the game ramps up. You have 11 energy to spend every round of the game. However, in round one, you make about three moves and you're building up an engine. Once you've got all of these cards and these enchantments, the game does take longer because you're doing lots of cool stuff. But you also have cards that give you energy back. So the later rounds will take longer and you'll feel that you're doing more stuff because you simply, you are doing more stuff. Um, and yeah, round one was over fairly quickly, but then in the later rounds, we were, we were definitely a lot more involved. Um, so Tony, what did you think of your first play? Uh, yes, I, I enjoyed it. It was very good. Um, I, th I think I agree with a lot of what Steve was saying. There's a lot of, a lot of choices, so you can be, there's quite a bit of, Coming and R in certainly for me when I was thinking, well, if I go here, it's this, and if I go here, but yeah, it's good. It's it's competitive edge, but obviously it's not too, you know, it's not overly kind of, you know, take that. Yeah, we're you know, not attacking each other. No, no. So you, I mean, you're competing for the same spaces, obviously. Yeah. Um, I, I think Let's take these then, if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's quite a few different ways. I think you could strategies you could follow here to win. Like you know, you obviously got the keys. Um, but I think you could go heavy on enchantments. They seem to get a lot yeah. of points, especially later on. Uh, so yeah, yeah, a good mix, I think, of um, of um, you know different mechanics that makes a fairly unique game. I can't think of many games like this, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I think you know I don't know whether there's anything completely new in the game, but it does combine a number of things together. The worker placement rules with the different figures. Uh, you know, being able to be placed on different spaces. I, I think maybe that's new with the fact that you've got gates in between them and you can put something in the middle and it actually, that's quite, that's quite cool and that's interesting. Yeah. Um, but it isn't an obvious choice. You don't always want to use your leaders. A few times people were putting their leaders in the realms themselves because you need that three influence in the realm and you get to use all of the abilities. So I only played the leader once in the entire game. So I, I didn't feel that. He right. Was interesting. Necessary. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, there are a number, of, um, a number of different options. One thing that I'd like to do, and I, I'm only going to know this after I've played a few games, is these objectives to me, for me, they felt that they were must do. They, they was like, oh, there's eight points here. I must try and do these objectives. Mm -hmm. And my concern would be that if all the players think that, then everybody's kind of trying to do the same thing. But... The, the the game developer side of me is thinking you don't have to do these that was just something that got into my brain that i must do these to get the points i'm pretty sure if you were just if you just did other stuff 
and didn't do these, or di at least didn't focus on these, then you'd probably still be able to do quite well. I know at least in two of the rounds, if not the first three rounds, I only got one of the two objectives. Exactly, exactly. Whereas I missed them in the first round, but then I got them every round after that. Um, so, yeah. Cool, right. Yeah, and I right. guess there's a, a good amount of variability by changing the Lords out. The Fire Lord feels like it's particularly yes. uh, differentiating. Yeah. That's uh, it. We, we... Player that we didn't use in three players. So I, my guess... I'm sure that the the people who've developed the game would would uh, would would say that it's great for every player count. It does seem like yeah. it would be for, for two because the number of worker placement spaces and claim spaces available is yeah. scaling with the players. But I think I might like this best at three because it means that there's more possible variations and you're not yeah. using all the realms every time. Yeah. So yeah, as Steve said, we're we're playing with the Air Lord and the Earth Lord. There are four elemental lords. We didn't see today. We didn't see the uh, the Fire Lord. Uh, and we didn't see the Water Lord, and the rules for them are slightly different. The Fire Lord is actually really cool because the Fire Lord comes with an extra little piece. Uh, and where the Fire Lord is, the Fire Lord has four influence in that realm. So basically, you, you are competing with the Fire Lord. If you don't have four, you, you can't claim anything. Okay, you, you've got to overcome uh, the Fire Lord's influence. Uh, and if you do, you get a Fire Banner as well, which is an extra stuff. So yeah, the, there's some extra bits in there that you, uh, that you didn't see. But anyway, we, we are done. So I'll just say thank you to you two for joining me this evening. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the play. Yeah, very yes, much. Yes, thank brilliant. You. Yeah, that's good. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you both later on. Ciao. Yes, Paul. Right, there we go. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. And as mentioned at the start, if you didn't catch it, this is available on Tabletop Simulator. So WizKids have made this mod available to the public. You can play this right now if you wanted to. Uh, with this playthrough video and my tutorial video, that should be enough for you to go. And the physical game will be out soon. Yes, uh, hopefully in the next week. Um, and yeah, fairly so hopefully before Christmas in the UK. So that's it. Thank you very much to WizKids for uh, asking me to create this video. Uh, thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for helping fund the channel. And that's everything. Uh, I'm going to disappear now. I'm going to have a 10 minute break and then I'll be back with you for part two of my Marvel Champions playthrough from last weekend that I didn't quite finish. So if you're interested in watching that, I would be back live in about 10 or 15 minutes. But for now, I will say good night. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.